my beloved love. And if the river is moving really slowly, it's not going to build up much pressure or tension behind those dams or walls. But if it's moving very fast, a lot of pressure is going to be built up. With the throat chakra reversed, this can also represent the two of you not necessarily being in strong or consistent physical 3D communication, or this masculine wanting to say something that they're holding back. And if they're wanting to say something they're holding back, I do see this being that they're heartbroken over you, with the broken heart card in the upright position. So, for those of you who have felt in a chaotic time emotionally, literally physically in your life, this is a really positive omen for very calm, healing, stable times ahead. For others of you, this could be a general theme of your life. It could represent that you've gone through a very rocky beginning in your life, Maybe you were born into challenging family dynamics or circumstances in your life, or you've gone through very heavy times of your life. But I feel this really representing shifting into a time of much greater stability in the physical 3D world. Can I get more information on this stability? Here we have deceit in the reverse position. So living in the energy of truth or some kind of truth coming to light. Okay, this is about your inner truth. So, this is sitting on your throat chakra, and I see that your throat chakra has been activated to the degree that you are very clearly able to connect with your truth, both internally as well as the energy of truth within others. I'm hearing clear sight and clear knowing. We have angel of strength that represents you really in your power and confidence within this clear knowing. And what I see here, divine feminine, is that you are seeing others for their truth more than ever before. You may find that your intuition has been feeling stronger and more accurate and more immediate than ever. You may connect with others and feel as though you are just sensing them or seeing them for who they truly are, almost immediately, even if you don't know them very well. And this is because you've connected with the energy of truth within yourself. I feel that you've had to face some very, very hard truths about yourself, your own life, your relationships, and facing your own truth and embracing those truths and committing fully to the energy of truth has opened you up to being able to clearly see the energy of truth as well as the energy of deception wherever it is, even when it's within other people or other situations. It's like I just keep getting you're able to see through everything much more clearly than ever before. And I feel your guide saying, you are strong, you are stable, you are resilient within this chaos. Within this storm, I'm hearing, the storm can't touch you. It can't touch your light, your essence, your beautiful high vibrational energy. From Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe. Hello beautiful souls. And I do see that as you maintain that sense of internal stability and light and love, you are actually leading and guiding others shifting others who might be living really unconsciously in a really powerful way. So, I don't know who needed to hear that. I really hope that message reached you. I also saw the number 404 on the recording timer just a minute ago, and what first popped into my mind about this number is sometimes 404 is an error message that comes up when something isn't running right on a computer program or on a website. And I'm hearing that it's almost like you are this glitch in the matrix. You are this anomaly. Because in a world of people who are living so entrenched in fear and at a really low vibrational level of consciousness, you are emanating this kind of light that feels almost magical or surreal to others. So I see that beyond what you may consciously realize, anyone who's interacting with you or your energy at this time is really feeling. I'm hearing enthralled by this kind of magical energy that they're sensing around you, mesmerized by it. I'm hearing the word admired, like you are being heavily admired at this time by people that you might not even realize are admiring you. Particularly, if you are in the middle of this chaos, perhaps at times feeling a little bit chaotic, feeling a little bit unsupported, know that you again have this kind of internal stability. And also, even if at times you do feel like you are attracting some unconscious projection from others or from the collective, know that there are many, many people who are watching you in a very admiring way, even if it's at a distance. 
But in order to access that metaphoric portal of the present moment, you have to, as this card says, really loosen your grip, meaning really release or surrender that need that comes from the ego mind to control, to have a concrete knowing of all the outcomes. It's almost like a trade-off here, where you can either have a sense of total control and knowingness of futuristic timelines, or you can live fully in the present and access that guidance from within that can take you through these portals to really magical, beautiful places that can allow you to shift in an exponential way in your life, to take these so-called quantum leaps in your life that aren't possible when we're still holding on to those control mechanisms that keep our vibration at a lower state of being artificially. Wow! Very powerful messages coming through from this Star Seed Oracle card deck today. So, I am going to be reshuffling the traditional tarot card deck and tuning into whatever you might need to hear at this time. What else can I channel for the beautiful Divine Feminines tuned in here? Specifically, I'm going to dive into the Divine Feminine Polarity. Of course, take these labels as they resonate with you personally because these will connect differently for different individuals listening. From Divine Muscular, type yes if you believe.